Hey, Siri. Uh-huh? Set an alarm for 4.30 a.m. I've turned on your 4.30 a.m. alarm. Tomorrow is a gigantic day. And there's no wiggle room for error. When it goes smooth, I will pat myself on the back. Um, good night. If I click this, this is where we're going. Two trains. Orly bus. I'm not sure if it's a bus or if it's a train. I'm flying from Paris to London. What I'm packing is what I'm wearing, and what I'm bringing is my electronics. So I need to focus. I have my passport. That's an orange jacket day. We're going to London. London yet? It's easy. Look, it's a bus. And there's a lot of them. This was very easy. It's very easy. A separate ticket. It was 11, 11.50 to go. And the buses look like they're running every five minutes. <laughs> Their security down. Even with all that, it is 9 16 on here. Boarding is in 45 minutes. So when I land in London, Gatwick, I just reviewed it's a s series of four trains to get where I need to be. I'm not doing that. I think I'm just gonna pay for a taxi to take me to the hotel. <laughs> Digital and virtual. Oh, right, okay. They're not there. Oh, they're not there? They're oh, not no, there. Right. They're at home having a cigarette. <laughs> okay, okay. And it was the greatest experience I had had in a while. Right. And I, and because I was in Paris, in my mind, that was close enough to do this again. Oh, right, okay, right, okay. I wasn't going to be this close and not do it. Oh, right, okay. Fair enough, fair so in the morning, I'll go back. So you know, I came here last September. It was the greatest thing I saw. Last time I was here, I learned there was a hotel across the street, snooze box. I made it back. It has a little, has a little penitentiary feel, but the price is right. The location is perfect. You ready, you ready to go into the snooze box? Mama's got a snooze box. She wears it on her chest. Oh, it is. What you see is what you get. All right. So, bed, console area. So, let's listen, it's four o'clock. Concert's at five o'clock. There's an entire pre-party going on outside. That I'm, I'm inside. I got two hotels tonight. Here's the deal about ABBA Voyage. Every time you go, it's called a voyage. So this is my second voyage. Let's go. So look, that's my hotel. It's that close. Listen, it might be freezing outside, but this is the hot ticket tonight and my second voyage. And you ready for this? My ticket was more expensive this time than last. You know why? Because it's worth it. No, it's showtime. It's showtime. I am arena, right? I go in, there's no cameras during the show. 
I'll turn it on a little bit forward, but I don't want to be that knucklehead. I want to enjoy the show. I'm going to do something out of curiosity. I always talk about the bad seats. I'm coming all the way on the top of the arena to look down so you can see. Hold on, you ready? There's not a bad seat in this place. Like, I paid extra money for this one. Come on, let's go down. This is about kinetic lighting, and that means you do not know where the auditorium lighting ends and the stage begins because of depth and perspective and synchronicity. It's amazing. And again, I'm sitting here, you get the illusion that the stage is this big, right? No, no, no. It's going to be all the way. Every time I'm trying to film, like right, I'm shaking. Oh, Mr. Hate is cold. You know I can do commentary at the hotel because it's right across the street. Listen, I'm so happy I got to enjoy it again because I also got to see the flaws, but that didn't mean that I didn't enjoy it. It's so funny because every time I'm trying to film, like right, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Here, let's go inside. Let's discuss. Two-timer, they say, a second voyager. When I walked out of here last time, I remember thinking, you just witnessed the future. It's why the Beatles will reunite, why you can go to the Michael Jackson residency in Las Vegas. It's the future. And as amazing as it is, it is still ground floor of what is possible. The colossal, the colossal close-ups are the weak point but it's also the starting point. And once you either get used to it, accept it, or maybe they did get better. <laughs> maybe they get better during the show. That's when the party begins. It's fun. The enlarged screens of them can be a little Hall of Presidents. <laughs> minor, minor. Again, I notice everything. I wish they were more impulsive. I wish they sweat a little. I wish they were able to pull original demos or non-studio sound. Instead of the exact produced recording, things that felt more human, I wish it were more human. Now I have to tell you, 87, 87% it is, it is. I loved it the second time. You know I'm a vlogger. I have vlogged about ABBA. I had three cameras on me and never, and never pulled any of them out. The people next to me kept suspiciously filming until I had to look over and give them the stink, the stink eye, you know? So there's that. If there is a third time, I want to take it in the very back. Number one, I won't pick up on the less than human nuances in the enlargement. And also, it is meant to be visually taken in from afar. It is a dazzling show that is futuristic with its feet firmly placed in the past that just brings up warm warm happy feelings of how things were. You cannot convince me there's not four people on those stage. The feet, the shadows, the it's unbelievable the lighting comes off of that. I mentioned it earlier, it's kinetic lighting. You do not know where this ends, this begins, and the synchronicity of all that perspective depth, right? A dazzling illusion. The descending rope lights, the silver mirrored domes, You've got to see it to know what I'm talking about. It is jaw dropping, and this is just the beginning. I went in there this time ready for the hiccups. I loved it. Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's currently 39 degrees. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 6.30 a.m. <laughs> Wild 
out here. What gave it away is they all have suitcases. I speak English. This has been very intimidating. If I did it more often, okay. You know, the dominoes of doing the wrong thing right now would be financially unforgivable. It's the suitcases. The suitcases gave it away. I've just been following people with suitcases. You know like the Betty Davis movie, Now Voyager? I'm gonna call this video Now Voyager. The ABBA concert, Voyage. This entire experience, a voyage. A voyage and a lesson about travel and being out of your comfort zone making mistakes and having time as a repercussion. We will shortly be arriving at Gatwick of moving for an hour and a half virtual concert and you know what Whew. I love it I'd do it again mm -hmm.